On today's episode of Short Circuits, I'll be talking about digital potentiometers. A potentiometer is the classic twist knob that you see on the front of a lot of radios. It's a variable resistor. Uh, it's a three-legged device. The center post on most of them are the wiper, and on the outer two legs is the resistor. And as you turn the knob, the wiper touches the resistor um, in different places along the, the resistor, changing the resistance between the leads. Here's a diagram of a variable resistor or, or potentiometer. As the wiper moves closer to one end, it becomes lower resistance through the wiper. As it moves farther away from one of the ends, it becomes higher resistance. The part that I'm using today, the digital potentiometer, is the WMS 7170 by Windbond. It has a hundred steps. It's not a hundred percent analog, so there's steps as it's moving. It has a nice interface on it that's an up-down pulse and an increment pulse. Um, this particular one is 10K. And in the, this configuration I'm running audio into the circuit and then back out of it. And I've added some push buttons so that I can move the internal wiper up and down so I can increase and decrease the volume. This part also has a memory function to it. By toggling the chip select line, you can also save the, the value that the wiper is at. So next time you power up your device, it will power up into the same location. Um, that's only good for about 100,000 write cycles. So if you're mi controlling this by a microcontroller, you don't want to be saving initial values very regularly or you'll burn up your part. Here's a diagram of the control, stru control structure. So at any instant that you toggle the increment low and the up-down signal is high, your wiper is going to move upwards one position. And every time the up-down signal is low and the increment is low, the wiper will move down. And if you want to store your your wiper value for the next time you turn the device on, you will leave up, down, both high and the increment high, and you will toggle chip select high. If you leave chip select high all the time, it'll be in standby low power mode. If we go back to the circuit, I've shown how you can do this with two buttons. On this configuration, I have two pull-up resistors that are keeping the up, down, and the increment lines pulled towards the VCC voltage. And when you push down on the up-down button, there's a path that will pull down the increment line and pull down the up-down line. If you just push the this other button, you will have, there's a diode in, in, uh, in series here that prevents this other line from being pulled down. So that gives you the directionality. So you can go up or down. So now if I put some audio into the circuit, here's the circuit. I've got two push buttons here. I should be able to make the, the audio louder that's coming, which is some SID music, some 8-bit music. This has 100 steps, so I have to push it quite a few times for the audio to get louder. So now the audio is getting louder. Now if I push the down button a bunch of times, the audio will get lower and lower. And if I kept going, eventually there would be no audio. Well, thanks for watching. Tune in next time for another short circuit.